Today I'm going to be doing a little experiment, something I wanted to try for a while now. I'm calling this the Moto Mullet. So I've got a 29 by 3 up front and a 27 5 by 4. If you don't know what a mullet bike is, it's typically a bike, a mountain bike that will have two different wheel sizes. It's usually a bigger wheel on the front with a smaller wheel on the back. When it comes to the overall diameter, these are actually pretty close. The 29 by 3 is going to be a tiny bit taller, but it's almost negligible. The reason I'm calling it the Moto Mullet is because on motorcycles, they actually have this same setup where they have a larger wheel with a skinnier tire on the front and a smaller wheel with a fatter tire on the back. They do that because they need more traction on the back and they need something more stable and that will dig in a little more on the front. On a bike that's powered by a human, you don't necessarily need those things, but we'll see how this goes. And at the end, I think I'm going to do a the reverse experiment with the fat tire up front and the 29 plus in the rear but it'll be on my ice cream truck just for fun so the mullet bike's popular with downhill guys and probably enduro but the reason for it is they ride pretty aggressively and they their thinking is that with the big front end, that can plow over stuff or roll over things better. But to have a smaller wheel on the back end means they can get back over the back wheel. They can move the bike around a little bit more without having it suck their shirt in or pull their pants down. It's probably also easier to manual or just get the front end up because you're not trying to get over this big old wheel on the back realistically this actually doesn't give you those same advantages and i can kind of tell it just kind of feels a little sluggish from the back compared to a normal 29 plus setup but it would give you some traction but compared to why people do it on mountain bikes uh, nothing really it's just too too close in diameter on the wheel size or on the overall size and it's a fat tire so it's not like playful in the same way how it feels when you jump. Uh, creaky drag train. Uh, that wasn't great. Yeah, just kind of sluggish. I like the way the front end feels. The back, not so much kind of crazy because I I enjoy riding you know a full fat tire in summer but it just feels like it can't keep up with the back that was fun but I want to try this one out we'll see how it goes it's, it is still single speed so uh it'll be a little bit of work to get up to the top but I'm excited to try it out I kind of think this is going to be more where it's at 
you know most people want a wider tire up front anyway to get to give you that extra traction on the front end since your weight's already on the back it's kind of weird i don't know if this is just in my head but i can feel that the front is heavier feel that it's has more rolling resist i don't know what it is but it's noticeable so far though i actually like this this feels better it just feels more balanced for some reason you know i'm on the single speed so i was standing up kind of trying to push up this hill back there it was a little loose didn't lose any traction so yeah good so far all right let's do it round two In general, I feel a lot more confident on this. Fatter tire is going to have more traction, so and it's it's a lot more unnerving to feel your front end giving up for your back instead of the other way around. This has been a fun little experiment, huh? Let's jump this, even though it's gonna kill my wrists. Ah, I'm not gonna be able to get enough speed. Ah. I can only pedal so fast on this bike. <laughs> that was, that last one I felt that. A weird poppiness you get from a fat tire on the front. So if you've got a 29 plus wheel set for your fat bike, or you got a 29 plus bike that has clearance on the front for some reason for a full fat tire, put the fat tire on the front. If for some reason you want to try it. It's pretty fun actually. Totally different experience than the other way around. So that was pretty fun and it was amazing difference between the two setups don't recommend this setup i don't know it just it just kind of makes the bike feel more sluggish you don't really get anything maybe if you're in a situation where you're putting down so much power you're like a motorcycle and you need that on the back then go for it but i highly doubt anyone's ever going to meet that but this right here was weirdly fun i think it would be interesting to try it in maybe some light snow um, to keep some of the the uh, playfulness and the speed of that back tire but be able to plow through some stuff anyway thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel be sure to do so and go check me out on instagram at ride year round and i'll see you next time <laughs>